Hello, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So if I'm talking funny, it's because I got my wisdom teeth out uh, four days ago. Today is day four. Um, I'm still trying to recover from that, but I had just put together my TBR for February and I'm ahead of the game. So I figured, you know, while I have it together, while I feel like it, I'm gonna go ahead and film my TBR for February. I feel like you can definitely see that I'm still swollen. Um, this was the side that had a little bit more trouble than the other ones getting my back wisdom tooth out. I got all four out. Top ones were super easy. They could just pull, um, but they did say that this one gave them a little bit of trouble. So I feel like most of my pain has been on this side. I feel like my, I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I feel like my jaw is like definitely bigger on this side. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so this TBR is gonna look a little bit differently because I am doing a team TBR challenge in my online book club. I have an online book club on Facebook and we're doing this like Valentine's and Galentine's TBR challenge, which is really fun because we're all in teams and we're like competing for the amount of points that we're trying to get. So there are certain prompts and activities that you have to do in order to get these points. And my TBR, I'm trying to obviously revolve around that so that way we can get a lot of points. And I did pick out a pretty good TBR already from the prompts that I wanna hit, but there are definitely two, yeah, there are two prompts where I can pretty much read anything from. So for those two prompts, because they're so open-ended and I can fit anything in those, I'm going to do my YouTube comment picker, which is where um, I randomly choose a YouTube prompt that you all put on my last TBR video. So that way it's really just, you know, honing in on what I have to read. So I'm gonna go find that video and screenshot or screen share everything for you guys. While I'm getting that figured out, go ahead, pause this video, go ahead and drop a prompt down below for March because every month I pick YouTube prompts and I love them. I just love that you all are kind of doing the work for me. You're choosing the books for me to read. All right, let's go ahead and pick one. February prompt from Carla Towns, read the book that you've owned the longest. Okay, that's gonna be, I gotta go figure that out, I guess. Okay, I think I have a good choice for this. So I have gone through and unhauled books over the years, but I keep leaving this one on my shelf and I've had this on my shelf for probably at least two or two and a half years. And I, I haven't owned a lot of books for a long time. There for a while, I was like totally just reading from the library. And then it was only once I kind of became a booktuber, did I start receiving books and kind of getting a larger TBR. So this book I think is one of the longest ones that I've had on my list. This is a young adult book. Um, it's called A Very Large Expanse of Sea. And this is about 9-11 and how this student, I believe, he is a 16 year old Muslim girl who's tired of being stereotyped because obviously after 9-11, um, everyone was stereotyping Muslims. So I'm actually really excited to read this. I think that it will be very eye-opening for me. So that is what I'm doing for the longest book. Let me go ahead and hit another prompt here. Okay, I'm hoping to get my own TBR prompt for favor. A book with a heart on the cover. If you don't have one, then just red on the cover. Okay, let me, I, I'm not, I don't think I would have a heart, but I'll check and then I'll just grab some red on the cover. Okay, that one was a little bit harder. I don't have heart on the covers of any of my books. Um, but I did have a fair amount that were read and I almost picked a JP Delaney book, um, but I decided I wanted to save that since I have two on my shelf and I might wanna read them together. So instead I picked um, The Mother's Mistake. Your daughter is in danger and it's all your fault. This obviously has red right here on the cover. It says, Claire has everything she's always wanted. A newborn baby, a doting husband by her side, a picturesque home in the countryside, but behind closed doors, Claire's life is falling apart. Her husband is barely ever home. She's struggling to bond with her baby girl and she swears that she's being watched in the remote lonely cottage. 
there's more to that, but kind of reminds me, I don't know, I really like domestic thrillers that involve like mothers, newborn babies, husbands. So we'll see how this goes. I actually haven't really heard much about this, um, but it doesn't seem too long and hard to read, hopefully. Okay, for the rest of my TBR, I am fitting into prompts that I would like to read that I have written down. Um, the first one is to participate in a buddy read within Weeby Bookin, my book club. So I chose For Your Own Good because this buddy read is happening in February and I had this on my shelf. So that's like perfect, perfect timing. Interested to see if I'm going to like this because I've liked one Samantha Downing book, didn't like the other one. A lot of people have actually said this one's really good. I believe that this is more of a crime prestigious school thriller. Not usually something I'm loving, but we'll see. Okay, next up is the prompt. Read a book written by a black author, but this is also my buddy read for Patreon for February. So if you wanna buddy read this book with me, you can join my tier two or higher in order to participate. And this is Razor Blade Tears by S.A. Cosby. I am really, really excited to read this. I actually do think I'm going to really like this book. A lot of different things happening. I'll just read like the very top part. It says, a black father, a white father, two dead sons, a quest for revenge and redemption. And it just seems like there are a lot of different themes going on. I'm very excited with like the darker, deeper topics in it. Um, it looks like there's murder happening. Really excited for it. So I also just love, I think this book is very, very beautiful. Okay, one of the next prompts that I've chose was to read a book that a friend recommended to you. I've been wanting to read Pretty Stolen Dolls for a while and this was recommended to me by Gwen over at Gwendolyn Kensinger. Um, this is like a guy, I guess, that steals girls and treats them like his little dolls. It's very short though, which is one of the reasons why I wanted to read it this month. Um, and I'm hoping that I like it. I think it's part of a series too, but who knows? I probably won't continue on with the series because I just don't do that. <laughs> Next prompt is to read a book with your favorite romance trope. I actually have one of those on my shelf. This is Cherry Bomb. This is a book that I got from a Hello Lovely like surprise book box. So I didn't actually know what book was in it, but I knew that it was a forbidden taboo romance. And this does actually sound pretty good. It's about this girl who is like falling in love with her best friend's dad. And you all know that I love like taboo age gap romances and that just sounds really good, really up my alley. So I also really love that cover. Like I like that it's not the normal romance cover, you know, really excited for that one. Okay, a book that I think I am most excited to read this month maybe, this is for participate in a monthly book discussion in my book club and one of the monthly book discussions is Reminders of Him by Colleen Hoover. Let's all be super excited. Um, you probably didn't even know that I got this book yet because I didn't get to tell you I hauled it in my wrap up that's coming up, but I did. I hauled this, I actually had it on pre-order because Colleen Hoover is one of my favorite authors and I just, she's like one of the only ones that I actually pre-order books from. So I'm really hoping that I'm gonna love this. I haven't been too in love with her latest releases, um, but this one is supposed to be really emotional and I'm not gonna read the synopsis. I just kinda wanna go in blind and not really know what's going on, but I've heard really good things, so let's just hope I like it. Okay, the next prompt was to read a book that fits into our year-long reading challenge that's within my book club. So there's usually three prompts every single month. Um, and for February, one of those is to read a true story. I previously had said I was going to unhaul this book, but Gwen had commented on my video and said that this book actually is not poetry. That's one of the reasons why I was gonna unhaul it. It's actually a memoir, and she was kind of telling me some of the darker things that are in this memoir, and it did actually make me interested in keeping this book and actually reading it. So I'm gonna be reading Hunger by Roxane Gay. This is a memoir of, it says a memoir of my body. Um, I believe that she is gonna be talking about her plus size representation, rape culture, a lot of different things. And so that actually made me more interested in picking it up. For some reason, I thought that this was just a like poetry collection of her body. 
um, but I'm glad that Gwen convinced me to actually save it and read it because I actually think I would like it. I don't, I usually love memoirs a lot. Like there's not very much I don't like in a memoir. So I'm gonna try this out and hopefully I'm glad that I didn't unhaul it. Okay, then the next prompt was to have your spouse or partner pick a book for you. So I actually have a video of Alvin just going up to my shelf and just picking a random book. So I'll pop that in right here. It's a lot of different choices. Now you know how I feel when I try and pick a book. Wow, how'd you know to pick? That's a good one. Because it's about a cult and you like weird stuff. <laughs> wow, thanks. Oh, that's a perfect one to read. Thank you. <laughs> so yeah, he picked Breaking Free by Rachel Jeffs. I'm really excited because this is a cult book. This is also a memoir, like, you know, true nonfiction book. So very excited about it. Gosh, there it is. I always freaking love when there are pictures in my nonfiction books. I just feel like it really brings like faces to the story and it makes it like, yeah, this is true. You know, this did happen. Very excited for this. This is definitely, I think one of the books, like my, maybe my second favorite that I'm excited to read. And then last but not least, we have a fact or fiction readathon in my book club this month where you have to read a true crime like fact book or a fiction crime book. Um, I am picking, obviously, the true version because I'm just a nonfiction lover, what can I say? So the only one that I really had on my shelf that could fit was Stay Sexy and Don't Get Murdered. This is a dual memoir um, of the ladies that run the podcast, My Favorite Murder, which I have not listened to, but I've heard that this is really funny, really good, and maybe I would start listening to that podcast if I like this book. It definitely seems like a really good book, like looking through it and everything. The titles are really funny, so I feel like this will be very entertaining. I was able to get a bunch of these books on audio. I believe out of the 10 books that I wanna read this month, um, these are all ones that I was able to find on Libby or Script, which is great because you know, girls gotta be at work. I also will be getting my egg retrieval probably done this month. I'm starting my IVF cycle. So I'm gonna be on injections um, starting like halfway through February. And I will have to take time off in order to recover from my egg retrieval. So I'm hoping that I am able to get a lot of reading done and that I can read all 10 of these books. So looking at the whole entire stack here, this, is my TBR for February. Really excited about it. I mean, I technically have two romances in here for February because you know, I'm not a huge romance reader anymore, but I'm really excited. I think I got like a roundabout, you know, I've got some thrillers in here. I have some romance. I have some young adult. I have some memoirs, nonfiction, some more like adult, you know, deeper topics so i i think this is a really good roundabout tbr before we finish this video i just wanted to name off some of my new patreons for this month so these are people that joined in january and i am so thankful to have you i want to thank ashley nicole katherine Ashley, Jennifer, Karen, Brianna, Jessica, Wendy, and Teresa. If your name was not listed on there, you might have joined after January 22nd because that's when I am currently filming this. But I want to thank you so much for supporting me. It means a lot to me and I am really, really, really looking forward to being able to stay home soon. It's going to be such a blast and I... I can't wait. Anyway, I hope you all loved this video. I would love to know what your TBR is like for February. Are you going more towards romance? Are you, you know, staying in the non-romance? You know, what do you do for February? I'm gonna let you all go because my mouth is hurting, but I'll see you all very soon in another video. Bye everyone.